Hey guys, JJ here, and the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. Promotional images from the Resident Evil 3 remake have surfaced via the PlayStation Store. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Well, it looks like the recent rumors on the Resident Evil 3 remake were true. Today, cover art for the remake has appeared on the PlayStation Store. This news comes from GameStat, which displays public information through Sony's official data tracking. The game will be titled Resident Evil 3 in North America and Biohazard RE3 in Japan. A photo for the Z version, which is a censored version for Japan, has also been released. This is incredible news. Not only do we get our first look at official artwork that showcases the new versions of Jill, Carlos, and Nemesis, but this furthers the rumors about a 2020 release and potential for the game to be showcased at this year's Game Awards that takes place December 12th, 2019. Let's take a closer look at the new versions for the characters. Here we can see Jill Valentine stays faithful to her original design. Instead of a blue tube top, she's wearing something a little more practical. It looks very similar to her unlockable outfit for the Dreamcast version of Resident Evil 3. We can also see from the face that this is not Julia Voth, as some fans may have hoped for, but it's an all new face model. I personally think this new Jill looks great. Moving on to Carlos Oliveira, the mercenary that was hired by Umbrella. He's still wearing the tactical gear as seen in the original Resident Evil 3, but his face and hair has changed quite a bit, especially that hair. He needs a haircut. Still looks great though in my opinion. Then the most dramatic change of all, Nemesis. This one is a big deal for a lot of fans as Nemesis has appeared many times in the Resident Evil franchise. He's appeared in multiple games, the live action movies, and artwork, and always kept a very similar look. Here we can see the new take on Nemesis, which shows a stretched out human-like face. He still has large teeth, but this time they're squared off instead of sharp. Reminds me a bit of a book I used to read as a kid, the story titled The Teeth. Instead of the leather trench coat, he looks to be covered in caution tape and has some sort of mechanism covering a possible large heart on his chest, similar to the tyrant featured in Resident Evil 1. If that's the case and he does have an exposed heart on his chest, it makes sense that they would want to cover that as it's a weak spot. From this image, we can see Nemesis with the tentacle coming out of his arm, which is reassuring that his attacks will be similar to the original game. Brad Vickers can't wait to take that in the thro- I'm just gonna stop myself there. Moving on to the nose in the room, I mean the elephant in the room, his nose. That large, crooked nose. This is our first look at Nemesis with a crooked nose, and it's interesting. Yeah, I personally love the look of the original Nemesis as featured in much of the franchise. It's always been similar, and I can't say I'm a huge fan of this new design, but I also don't hate it. With how terrifying Nemesis was in the original Resident Evil 3, I can't wait to see how Capcom amps him up in the remake, similar to what they did for Mr. X in Resident Evil 2. Well, there you have it, our first look at an official Resident Evil 3 remake. I am beyond hyped and can't wait to potentially see it revealed at this year's Game Awards. I heard he took off work and myself with the Rogue team will be streaming it live to the YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we go live. Now I'm curious to know your thoughts. Are you excited for the Resident Evil 3 remake? What are your thoughts on the new designs for Jill, Carlos, and Nemesis? Will you be attending our live event of the Game Awards 2019? Let us know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for all the latest Resident Evil news. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon supported channel, so if you'd like to help support the channel and unlock some cool perks in return, head over to patreon.com slash network. Link will be down in the description. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and we hope to see you back at the residence of evil.